but let's just go live to our colleague Kenny Mapanga who has been watching events. Uh, Kenny, a very uh, good uh, morning to you once again. Uh, what sort of reaction are we getting to uh, this decision uh, by the full uh, uh, bench uh, that uh, Judge Sutherland just announced this morning? Well, good morning to you and the viewers at home. Apologies for that uh, technical difficulty earlier, but I do have the Jacob Zuma Foundation spokesperson to react uh, to the court's decision to halt uh, the private prosecution of President Sora Maposa. Mr. Mani, thank you for joining us on the agenda. Just a quick reaction from the Foundation uh, regarding today's very quick judgment in the Gauteng High Court. Yeah, firstly, uh, as I've said before, that the Foundation uh, is vindicated in that we had already sus uh, uh, treated with suspicion the fact that the judiciary made its own call to have a full bench instead of one judge. So now we see the results of that uh, suspicion that we've be actually been vindicated, firstly. Secondly, we are very nervous about the kinds of comments that this judge was making. The judge has basically said a court is a court is a court. Now, if a court is a court is a court, uh, why is it then that we have on the one time uh, justices, justices wearing uh, black robes and on the other time wearing red robes. So we think really, to be honest, that uh, the judge has misdirected himself. A civil court standard is not the same as a criminal court standard. In a civil court, is balance of probabilities. In a criminal court, is proof beyond reasonable doubt. For the judge to just say uh, override that and say a court is a court is a court, I think it's, it's something that is contested, number one. Number two is also contested the fact that he has uh, actually said the, the, the rights are almost absolute when we know that all our rights have got limitations except right to life. This is section 36 of the constitution. Now for the judge to just uh, uh, pretend that uh, all the rights are sacrosanct and all of that is really uh, also another contestable ground. So really, we really think that what this has been all about today has been justice for the elite where the elite has said, I don't want to come to court, and the judiciary has agreed. Uh, and the poor person on the street can never have this right of saying, I don't want to come to court and get away with it. This is justice for the elite. Well, the full bench is saying that uh, should the president have appeared on Thursday and then later, at a later stage, is able to set aside those summons, he would have suffered uh, irreparable harm. But the former president, um, if this interdict is granted as it has been, will, will not suffer any harm if the case continues at a later stage. Um, do you understand that argument by the full bench? No, no, we don't accept that argument uh, because appearing in court, there's always been an understanding of a person is presumed innocent until proven guilty. Now, the assertion made by the court is that a coming to court means you are guilty. You have to prove yourself innocent. What harm is there? for a person to have an opportunity to prove his innocence. What harm is there? So we really think uh, that's very contestable what they've said. Does the former president accept the judgment or can we expect further action? I just came out of the court now. Uh, I think uh, the former president or rather his extensive president Zuma is going to uh, consult with his legal team and they're going to agree a way forward. At this point, I have to go and give a, a, a report back. Thank you so much. That was the Jacob Zuma Foundation spokesperson just speaking after the judgment by the full bench here at the Gauteng High Court, uh, which essentially means the implications rather are that the president does not have to appear in the criminal court on Thursday. He's given the space and the time to get to part B of his application, the meat of his application, where he'll be challenging the summons that were served before him uh, a day before conference last year. I'm going to toss it back to you in studio as we await further reaction from the presidency as well. Kenny Mapanga there.